Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here. I'm today with kind of a bit of a news announcement here to make regarding Tanami. If you've been following Tanami over the past couple months, you'll know that they're really not in a good position right now, and that's probably an understatement. And uh, something I want to bring up is if you've been following conventions, you'll know that a pretty notable convention that got canceled a little while back was Momocon. Momocon was set to take place over this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, which is where Tanami is actually headquartered. So, and again, they had announced before that there was going to be a panel Friday night at the convention. But when the convention got postponed, they announced they would cancel that panel. And again, usually at these panels, you get information. Usually pretty big, pretty exciting information to really drum up interest. Like again, if you're going to go to a convention, if you're a company, you better have some big ideas and some big announcements in tow because... Like I said, really, these conventions really serve as just kind of a giant machine to drum up support or drum up interest, you know. And Tanami is no different, you know. And again, and a lot of people a few months ago, when the panel was announced, expected, okay, considering the timing, we were probably going to get announcements or more information about Uzumaki, how that's doing. Probably like a premiere date people were expecting to be announced then. And a lot of people wanted more like... They wanted, like, a trailer of, like, the new Blade Runner show, which is supposed to take place, supposed to be on Toonami sometime in 2021. However, pretty, pretty notable developments occurred since then. And, again, like I said, that panel got canceled. And the night the panel was supposed to be was supposed to be last night, May 22nd. However, that night passed without any announcements. And in several videos I made before, I did announce that that was going to be a big red-letter moment for Toonami. If, if the announcements they had were still relevant, if the current issues we're having in the world right now didn't impact them, then we would probably get it that night. However, I made one slight miscalculation. I forgot that Tanami pre-flight had been moved from Friday nights to Saturday nights now. So Saturday nights at 11 o'clock, you have Jason DeMarco and the other guy, I can't remember his name right now. They would go and they would talk about Tanami, various stuff, answer fan questions, so on and so forth. And that's the first real, this is going to be the first real big uh, moment where they interact with fans since that date passed. So I will say it's more fair to say that tonight is the night. If Uzumaki is doing fine, if Blade Runner is doing fine, then we would get more information about those tonight, you know. In other words, in other ways too, if there's like a show they got the license to air, especially since a lot of people are really asking for a new one right now, considering how... Uh, the block is probably debatably the weakest it's been of the Adult Swim era, at least in terms of general fan reaction to it. And I don't blame them. I mean, half the block right now is reruns. And again, a lot of people, I think, are really just like, yeah, Shippuden's on the block for like 10 million years now, you know. And it really overall, it's just not... Fan morale's pretty low right now, I'd say. And a lot of people are thinking, if Uzumaki is fine, if we're going to get Uzumaki sometime in 2020, then tonight, tonight on pre-flight, we would get some pretty big news regarding it, you know, maybe a new trailer or something, since we really hadn't had any new footage come out since, like, the warm-up announcement trailer we had, like, six, seven months ago, or, I guess it's a long time ago, it seems like, you know. And the same thing with Blade Runner, we've gotten almost no information regarding it. I know I've been following, I believe, like, it seems it's Jason DeMarco's Twitter account, he talks a lot about, oh, the music is doing well, the music is doing well, but, again... What about the animation? Japan is kind of shuttered right now with regards to animation, you know? And that leads to another small a news thing I just remembered I want to mention. Apparently, Fire Force did drop a trailer a day or two ago for Season 2. And they're at least announcing in Japan they're going to try to get that try to get that start airing in July. No announcements regarding Toonami. However, if things go swimmingly in Japan and this works... And if somehow they can piecemeal dubs from home like they've been doing, Funimation's been doing for, uh, for like My Hero Academia, Black Clover, and several other of their animes, then maybe we can get Fire Force sometime this fall on Toonami. But again, that might be a bit of a stretch. And again, Toonami just not in a great position. A lot of people looking forward to tonight. It's like I said, this is Momocon weekend. Toonami was going to have their big panel where they probably would make their biggest announcements of the year. And if there are absolutely no announcements by now, that's going to cause a lot of alarm among people. But again, what do you guys think? What's your opinions? Do you think Tanami can weather the storm of 2020? <laughs> Which has been a pretty fun year for a lot of people. Just kidding. 
And again, what do you guys think? What's your opinions on Tanami's status right now? Leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. I love reading them. If you like this content, if you want more Tanami or anime news content like this, please like, please subscribe, and touch that notification button. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.